Good morning guys, it's Leanne. I just wanted to share this kind of food for thought. As I've been working on myself and working through this year and where I am in alignment with the goals I had set out for myself for this year, you know what? It can get frustrating. You can feel like, why did I not go, like why didn't I not achieve this goal? Why did this happen or whatever? And I just wanted to give you this little reminder that you are exactly where God wanted you to be right now. Um, you know, you can't get frustrated with life. You just have to be thankful for every situation, regardless of what the situation is. And that's something that you have to consciously decide, I am going to work on this and I'm going to change this. So my perfect example is this morning, we're running late. Um, I'm, you know, flying out of the house. I'm trying very hard to be patient with a four year old who insists on wearing a specific outfit and dressing herself and putting on lip gloss before we leave and needed this and needed that. And I'm just calm, Leanne, we'll get there. If she's a few minutes late, she's four. <laughs> um, and, and so as we're driving to school, we come upon an accident and it looked like it looked like everybody was fine, but there were just fire trucks and, um, you know, tow trucks and there's a big giant truck in the intersection and there's a, a ton of cop cars and you're kind of just sitting there. And at that point in time, I was still thinking like, Hey, we're late. Like we gotta go. But I was also thinking, Hey, we were late because of all of these little factors and we may have avoided being involved in that accident because we're late. So whatever life kind of throws at you when things are not going as you planned in your head, don't worry. Get over the frustration. If you can't change it right then, then don't give it any energy. You know, focus on being positive. But no, that may not have been your intention for the day, but it was God's intention for you for that day. So I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy a fabulous weekend. This is the time of season to enjoy family and conversations and to be engaged with, with your friends and your family. It's not about trying to get all these presents done and wrapped and cookies baked and all this. Just enjoy the time. Take some time to slow down and be present and enjoy your family and friends. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I'll talk to you later. Bye.